around 30 call center agents answered more than 20,000 calls to the newly minted 911 emergency hotline launched Monday. Bulk of the emergency calls were for ambulance assistance, reports on illegal drugs, vehicular accidents, and calls for rescue. With calls reaching more than 23,000 by Monday evening, the DILG targets to ramp up the number of agents to 45 by August 15. The additional personnel uh, will come from the police, from the BJMP, yung sa jail guards natin, at sa fire. So they were given a short training how to handle calls and how to transfer it to our responders, yung sa LGU, sa kapulisan, sa fire, sa kapo sa mga ambulance. The Civil Service Commission, which operates the National Complaints Hotline 8888, also launched Monday from the normal 75. Before 888 was launched, calls went up to almost 300. Kalimitan ng mga nature ng uh, nirereklamo yung mabagal na serbisyo, na pag-aksyon, yun. Uh, may, kumisan meron na rin yung mga private ano, eh, con, uh, complaints, pati insurance na nila eh. But authorities were disappointed to see that prank calls continued despite warnings that 911 and 888 calls were not for free. The 911 hotline received almost 3,000 prank calls and even 8888 was not spared. 911 and 8888 callers are charged regular call rates for calls made over landline. 8888 also retains regular call rates even for mobile. But 911 when called via cell phone will cost an additional 5 pesos 50 centavos on top of regular rates. But the DILG says the additional cost does not go to the telcos. 20% goes to the telcos for their administrative expense. No? Uh, yung 80% goes to the Foundation for Crime Prevention. It is a uh, private entity na sila po yung nagpapatakbo ng 117 program. So, sila po yung uh, nagbibigay ng mga gamit, yung mga computers. The DILG also warns that prank callers' lines may be suspended or permanently cut on repeat offenses. At worst case, the DILG can order to have them located so appropriate charges can be filed. This might be referred to the Department of Justice for them to study what possible cases could, uh, would be filed sa prank callers. And with the directive of the President, ihabulin talaga natin yung prank callers. The Duterte administration is meanwhile studying options on how to make the 911 and 8888 calls free for consumers. Michelle Rosa Ople, Bloomberg TV, Philippines.